Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we are gonna dissect the Sattva Luxury Mattress. So let's go. Okay, so we finally got the Sattva. The Sattva, we've had it before, and for some reason we just, we never did a video on it, and we, you know, we got rid of it, and, but we, we got this one. I see this mattress that comes up a lot. I would say it's definitely in the top five, maybe in the top three most popular online mattresses. Yeah. And they've been doing it, doing it for a while. Their unique selling proposition with the Sattva is that they don't roll pack it, which I think is, it's unique, it's different. Yeah, that commercial is pretty smart where they say like the sandwich thing and they're not throwing it all together. Yeah, right? I mean, it's yeah, I think pretty I, smart marketing. I, they did, they have done it, they're, they're smart what they're doing because mm -hmm. they have factories all across the country setting these up so they don't have to roll pack it. And that's one of their unique selling propositions. Gabe, we just got this from a customer. What, what is the story on this one? Yeah, so a couple things. One, it was too firm for the customer. Kind of thing it was gonna break in. They wanted that more like that medium feel yeah. and uh, just was too firm for them. Even then, this cushion, this is a thick looking, looks like a soft mattress, but it was, yeah. I have heard that a lot yeah. from customers. They, they, they do tend to run firm. And then, and then also it just was, just felt more raised kind of in the midsection area. Just, right. just, just wasn't like the right feel for them. I was like, oh, that's interesting. But now seeing it, I'm like, oh, okay. I see what you're talking about. I don't yeah. know if the, the video, the camera could see it, but we'll show like a measurement on the middle and then also like the head and the foot so you can kind of see the difference. Yeah, we'll get a close up. I don't know if you can, I can see it here. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Yeah, but that was it. I mean, otherwise, and she had it for a while, so it's in pretty decent shape and it's- yeah. I saw the lolly, it was like five years old. So it's, a, yeah, it's, it's in good shape. It's lasted, but it's just uh, firm, you know, too firm for her. And then also that mid section for her. Yeah, this cover starting from the top down, let's open this up, but just starting from the top down, like, so on the label here, let's on the close up on the label. We, it says environmentally friendly, ultra premium luxury mattress, you know, which Who knows one what that thing means. we got, we, I have heard a lot from customers is they're looking for like or, an organic mattress. They think that this is an organic mattress, you know? I mean, that's kind of been the, a position that they've kind of played for a while, you know? Yeah. And I know they have different brands uh -huh. like Sattva. They, they have now, they have an all latex brand, the Zen Haven. They have expanded their reach and expanded their offerings with the different types. But even the standard one, I think they're getting an organic mattress. And a lot of it is because the cover says organic cotton on it, which we'll see if it is. We'll, we'll open it up because I am very familiar. We're very familiar with this, mm -hmm. this type of material, this fabric. It says organic cotton in it, but I see this a lot. Here's something. You see organic cotton, bamboo. Yeah. A lot of it, it's gonna be more of a blend. A lot of times, you got to be careful. Even though it says organic cotton, a lot of times it's a blend, like a polyester blend. Yeah. You know, and the reason why I know is because you know we carried with something like this too, and I was like, you know what, this is not an organic cotton for you know for for a while now. We don't do it anymore, but it, there was one that was a blend. And the reason why we and like the reason why we carried it because other online companies, them and other online companies would use a similar fabric. Yeah. And it was just, hey, here's the story behind it. But I don't know if they really. Market as organic, but it's just it could be misleading when you perception. see the picture. I think right. the customer's perception yeah. is organic. No, I agree. Not that they're saying yeah. it's organic, but the customer's perception is. But when you say environmentally friendly mattress, I don't know what that means. Yeah. You true. know, uh, yes. I would agree. So let's open this up and here. Before we get all cr carried away, let's measure it. How first. thick is this mattress? This is a beefy mattress. I don't know. Maybe you can see it a little bit more now, but like right here in this midsection, it is raised a bit. But let's take the measurement from here here and here to see if there's a Because yeah, you definitely can see. So what are we at? 14, just about 14 and a half, just under 14 and a half. Yeah. Which on their website, it says it's a 14 and a half inch mattress. Okay, now yeah. let's go to the middle. Yeah, the middle definitely is higher. Than just 15, three eighths maybe? Okay. Yeah. And then we come over here. It's like 14 and three quarters, 14 and five eighths roughly. Okay. So. Yeah. There's a difference, like there's, there is that raised part in the middle and you can even see in the quilting pattern too. It's a bit different too. It's like a little bit tighter quilting. That's just a bit, you know, a bit different. Probably a little bit firmer in the middle, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. So All let's right. go ahead let's and- open uh, it up. And by the way, this mattress retails, I believe around 1600, 1699 or 1649 on the website. In a King, I believe it's about 2149-ish. On, um, they always have in sales, they're always saying these big discounts, but that's generally what this this mattress is gonna be retailing for. 
So this right here is called the tape edge. Not piping, is the tape edge. This is just a little mattress 101 for you. I wanted to do it this way, just kind of see the inside. Why is it looking like so lumpy, you know, right in the middle? Now, here's the panel. Just a little, and again, a little mattress 101. This is what you call a panel. Now, the panel, you could get a lot of comfort from the panel. This mm -hmm. affects, like, if you just change this one part of the mattress, it could totally change the feel of the mattress. Totally. It's a stretch knit. Same as organic cotton. Let's, let's just see what's going on in the panel first, because that will determine a lot of the comfort. Also, here, if we could get a close-up where why I do not believe this is organic cotton is because of these fibers right here. This is going to be a blend. This ticking, we call it, this fabric, is going to be more of a blend. So... It's, um, yeah, you got the polyester blend. So, so there's you know, probably some organic, the so cotton you're using? Some, yeah, some organic cotton fibers blended with polyester. Yeah. So yeah, this is not 100% organic cotton. That's quite a bit of polyester. And then of course you got the FR and the Dacron right in here, you know, which every mattress is supposed to pass that fire test. So you do have the FR fiber, the fire retardant fiber, which is, this is common. This found in most mattresses. It's better than that fiberglass sock that we see in a lot of the memory foam mattresses. Yeah, this is better. And then you got the Dacron polyester fiber, which gives it a little bit of loft. And then you have, what is that? About an inch of a foam in the decking or in the in the quilting. So about three quarters yeah, of an inch. three quarters. Yeah. So it gives you the, some of that softness to it. Like Man, they know what's kind of weird, like on the inside. I don't know how you would get hair on the inside. It's weird. That just happens. I have no idea how that happens, you but seen we've seen before? it. Yep, I've seen it before. How hair just gets trapped in there. I'm pretty sure it wasn't like that when it was manufactured. Yeah, that's just weird. Like it, how these little fibers find its way in there. That's just kind of gross. But here's, here's the thing, though, is that with ours, we make them with the zipper cover. So yeah. I just I do want to highlight this part is you can see flaws. You can see little imperfections or blemishes yep. in ours. Well, you know, when they're, when it's completely covered, if you want to take a look, you know, there's markings on the on the memory foam. This is a memory foam, right? Yep. There's markings here. You can see a little bit of uh, probably like scuff marks up there because that's yeah. just in the factory, yeah. right? And it's not going to affect the, the feel, the, the warranty of the mattress, but you can't see it on theirs. So for all, everybody knows it's a perfectly clean mattress, like with no markings. But sometimes with ours, you can see a little bit of like scuff marks because it's, you know, when it's in the factory. You're... Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be imperfections yeah. on it. Now you just see it underneath the hood. Yeah. So now we were talking about the rays, like what's going on with that center part. We see it right here. It's obvious. They have this center piece of foam going right in the center where most of the weight is going to be put at, which and I'm not sure. Three quarters of an inch. A lot of companies, they zone it out. They'll do, you know, lumbar support, which because this is where most of the mattress is going to get the punishment is right in the center. So they are trying to eliminate any of that dipping, any of that punishment that you're going to get from just stay mm -hmm. on it. So yeah, and I guess that's what the customer is feeling. They it just did not sit well with the customer you're Right, saying. yep, Clear. correct. So then underneath this, you can feel, you can feel the springs, right? You can feel the, uh, there's a, like a micro coil, yeah, or some, mini coil in there. Well, some people, some companies deal, they'll put firmer coils in the center. They'll put, back in the day, mm -hmm. they'll do like these torsion little bands in the center. But this is another way to do it. It's just not the most durable way, because yeah. You and then you have convoluted foam. So this convoluted foam, or you could say a crate foam, it was really popular. Again, I've done, I've talked about this. There's a lot of story behind it, but as far as like, is it quality there? You could say how many, how many inches of polyurethane or convoluted foam are, is there? When they measure it, they measure it by the peak. So you can say you have about an inch and a half, but what they do is they have this fancy machine that cuts the foam like this. So you could have two inch piece of foam in there and that they'll run it through this cool machine and then it'll cut it like this. It'll double the usage of that piece of foam. In that two inch, you're getting like basically almost now like two one and a half inch, you know, one, right, you know, pieces yeah, of foam. You can say there's foam. two inches of foam in here, yeah. but, and technically there is two inches of foam, but you're getting half of it, you know, because yeah. it's convoluted. Yeah, because now you're getting like three inches of foam or something like that out of two inches. Something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Something like that, more or less, <laughs> right. more or less. So it's more marketing on this one i'm not a big fan of convoluted foam i just i we really you know we've learned our the lesson that it does not hold up uh, you don't get as much value on convoluted as you would on a solid piece of foam yeah so that's our opinion now this is a comfort layer all right yeah this is this is the beefy part you know, but let's open this up so their comfort layer is let's this call it five inches okay. five and a half inches right yeah it's foam encased because you can feel the you can feel the coils inside here okay so foam encasement 
is something we've talked about. So what they did with these, these are micro coils. Yeah. I do like micro coils. I'm a fan of micro coils overall. It's a replacement of foam. And the reason why I like micro coils is because they do tend to hold up pretty good. Yeah, they're more durable. Than foam, you know, cause you got a lot of that durability. This is, instead of foam that they use, they use, how thick are these micro coils? About four and a half? Yeah, about four and a half. Four and a half thick micro coils, yeah. yeah. So this is where most of the cushion is coming from. This is it. Let's see how thick this gauge is on here. So the gauge thick of the wire, here we go. Little tool, his toy. So it's probably, call it a 15 gauge. About a 15 gauge? Yep. Okay. The higher the number, the thinner the wire. So that's the little tip on gauge, you know? So if you had a 17 gauge, it's gonna be even a thinner wire. If you have a thicker wire, it's gonna be a lower number. So, yeah, and you kind of see by the here, gauge which too. Which is kind of like more of a medium to medium soft on the firmness. This is the cushioning on here. Is most of the cushion is coming from this part. You know what? This wasn't even this pant. This wasn't even really. Well, I guess it was glued. Just a little bit of glue. Yeah. You know. But let's take this off. Let's see what's under underneath. So this decking part of the mattress is. Let's see. Now let's open this up. First of all, we got we got foam encasement. So this is the edge support with this mattress. This is the main edge support is foam encasement where a lot of companies use foam encasement. If you've seen any of our past videos, we talked about edge support. It's, it's, I'm not a huge fan of being foam encasement just because over time, this foam can tend to wear out and buckle and it does feel different on, on the edges. So we have here, this is like an endurator pad. It's going to go protect the, from the foam from seeping through. Mm -hmm. It does keep it a little bit more integrity. This is what could be the environmentally friendly. This is the part. environmentally friendly part where it's, where it's recycled. It's recycled. Yeah, recycled maybe that's materials. how they get, maybe that's how they get the, the environmentally friendly label. Which a lot of mattresses do use. So what they did here is they use Bonnell coils. This is the support. So the Bonnell coils is a more traditional support system, support layer. And this is really interesting. So they have it border wire in the center. In the part. center, yeah. yeah. You know what I believe is for, I mean, for support, but also to make this bendable, you know, for, mm -hmm. for adjustable like, basis, adjustable base, you know, so on, on here, there's no border wire. So this is a border wire around that center part, you know, that most, most um, connected coil mattresses are going to have some kind of border wire. At least a lot of them will. But if you if it's the whole thing had a border wire, it would not be used be able to be used on an adjustable base. This is a very simple one. There's more motion now. The downside on a Bonnell coil is definitely a lot more motion, a bit more bounce. Now you have all that cushioning on here to minimize some of that bounce. Mm -hmm. But for two people in the bed, because if they're all connected with this what they call a helical wire, it's going to be a lot more motion for two people on it. I'm very curious on how it would perform on an adjustable base. Yeah. Um, yeah, because, nice that. yeah, I've seen it a couple times and it, they, it doesn't, you can kind of hear it crunching on, on when the springs move underneath it. Mm -hmm. And over time, I don't know if that will play a role in the, in the durability, but um, it's definitely less expensive to use in a pocketed coil. Let's see how I mean, big is that wire. Yeah. How, what's the thickness of the gauge on this one? I'm going to guess, I want to say it's pretty thick. I want to say about 13 and a half, 14. Yeah, that's probably what it is. So let's see. 13, so shoot, maybe Wait, 12 and a half, about a 12, 12 gauge. 12 and a half, so this is a pretty, yeah, this is a pretty firm. So yeah, this is the environmentally luxury, a lot of quotes, environmentally and luxury sought the mattress. It is unique though, It is different. right? Yeah. It's, def it's definitely unique. The way they constructed it with that, that center um, lumbar area and how they put the border wire right in the middle too so that it can't adjust and yeah i noticed on the label that it did have some patent patents on there maybe that's mm -hmm. one of the patents yeah yeah you don't see a lot of patents on mattresses you know yeah um but this one had a couple pat patents on maybe that was the, the, the patent yeah it's not a bad bed you know one thing you did you didn't lay on the bed you know you can still lay on it if you want uh maybe okay. maybe not when you get home yeah after after the video i'll take this one home and try it out yeah yeah it was you know just Touching it, it was a more on the firmer side. Yeah, it was firmer. With that micro coils, I do give it a plus mm -hmm. on it. But other than that, it's one of those things for 1600 bucks though. Yeah. I mean, we have our Dalmar in that price range with latex, yeah. pocketed coils. If you're comparing $1,600. True organic cotton, right? Real, real organic cotton, pocketed coils, latex versus $1,600 of this. 
zipper cover you can zipper replace cover. things yeah, stuff, yeah there is a bit there is there would be a difference yeah you know in in value wise so Absolutely. i mean i would probably be closer to our kensington's if i had a pick you know mm -hmm. yeah because of the material that's being used right yep. so but yeah i hope this helped you guys but if there's any questions that you have put them in our comments you know we do our best to answer them or give us a call at the store and um, yeah, we have our mattress guide. Mm -hmm. um, if you're on your mattress shopping journey, download the guide. It gives you a little bit more of a head start when you're mattress shopping. Yeah. And yeah. And then of course, like, subscribe, you know, ring the, uh, do the, what is it called? The notification, get that alert every time we shoot another video. But yeah, hopefully this was helpful. And if you're on that journey, you need to, uh, you know, we do make mattresses and we do ship across country too. So if you have any questions or want one of our mattresses, we'd love to talk to you and kind of help you go through that you know, that buying process. Yep. All right, you guys. Well, thanks for watching. Yeah. Sleep well.